Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to View Representations in Parts, one of the new features inside of Autodesk Inventor 2012. We'll go ahead and start out with this hairdryer cover open in Inventor, and we'll just look at it. What we want to do is change the color and camera angle of this. Now, if we look over here, we'll notice this is an IPT file. So this is a part file, and that's significant here. Because now if I move the cursor, we can see that I've got view representations. If I expand that right now, I have master. But if I right click, I can choose new and create a new one. I'll double click on view one and give it the name blue. Now I'll go ahead and change the color from blue gray, which was the default to just blue. And then I'll right click and lock it. And that's going to lock both the color and the camera angle and make sure any future changes don't affect this particular view representation. I'm going to right click and hit new again and double click again and give this the new name of red. I'm going to rotate it to a new camera angle and change the color to red. Now with that selected, I'm going to go ahead and right click and lock that view. So now I've remembered that blue and that red color as well as the original gray and all I have to do is left click to switch between those views. So just like that I've remembered those states so I can recall them very quickly and very easily. Now there's one more trick we can do here. If I switch to a drawing, I can go ahead and right click in the middle of my screen. Take a look at those new marquee menus by the way. And here we can see that even though I've got a part file, I have my view reps right here. I also have this associative icon. While checked, that links the view back to the view rep in the part. I'll go ahead and place the blue rep down first. And matter of fact, we'll go ahead and just go back and edit that by double clicking and switch it to show the render view. There we go. We'll go ahead and start the base view again. And now, take the render view icon and we'll place the red view. And then finally, we'll create one more base view and choose the master and place the master. And that'll show you how we can associate those different views to the part and its view representations. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone.